Hello, fellow movie, TV, and entertainment fans. This is Ray, and this is The Fandom Realm. It's time for another episode, and just as a reminder, I will only be doing podcasts for the foreseeable future. So if you can't watch, you can definitely listen, and you can also check out other podcasting venues as well, as I'll be posting there soon. Now, just an update on the schedule, but I will have a reaction to Vampire Academy Episode 6 coming out on Wednesday. This is Episode 9 of The Fandom Realm, and today's episode is a look at Vampire Academy Episode 5. As always, this is a spoiler review, just be warned. So Vampire Academy Episodes 1 through 4 were a huge disappointment, earning a grade of a D. I had some major issues with the different parts of the story and the action, but it is almost like they heard my complaints because there were some major improvements. Episode 5 was definitely better than the first four, but how much better is the question. My biggest positive for this episode is that they revealed that the Maroi actually do have some powers and they are not as wussy as I first thought. First, Christian is really good with fire. We hadn't really seen his power to this extent until this episode. I like that he looks like he's going to be one of the more powerful Maroi, at least Maroi students. I think the character called Mia can also manipulate water. It was sort of hard to tell what was going on when she was using her power. It's also revealed that Lissa has not only the power to compel people, but she can also heal. She also has something else going on, some type of power uh, that's uh, probably bigger than compelling or healing, or maybe it sort of puts them together. And all this is sort of revealed at the end, so I'm interested to see where that goes as well. They also used their powers while they were teaming up, trying to help the Dampiers. So that really helped my opinion of the Maroi. Next, they also did a nice team up. Of course, a show like this has to have a good team up. It probably could have been written a little bit better. It wasn't all that smooth, but it did the job. Basically what happened, the council voted to test the Dampier students by releasing Strigoi into the field with them. Of course, this is something that Basically, in the uh, first four episodes, it was sort of brought up near the end, but we thought this had basically been put down and they weren't going to do it. But the council did vote uh, to go ahead and release the Strigoi in the field with them. Uh, They're not really going to tell anybody. Uh, Rose is going to end up being the leader of the main group. And all they knew is they were supposed to be attacked by another group of student Dampiers. And that group was supposed to be led by Mikkel. Mikkel's group also didn't know about the Strigoi. Um, It probably would have helped if they would have said, hey, we're letting these uh, overpowered evil vampires into the field with y'all. But for some reason, they didn't. The Strigoi actually ended up surprising the second group of Dampiers. Basically, they killed the whole group except for Mikkel who they actually turn uh, to their side they make him into a Strigoi and Mikkel is going to attack Rose's group the Maroi group led by Lissa are going to get together they come in they're going to assist Rose's group and eventually they're going to help fight off Mikkel one thing on Mikkel though is Can somebody out there tell me why he had the creepy red eyes? What do those symbolize? I didn't really see those in the other Strigoi. So does that mean something special? In the end, Dimitri and Rose are going to team up to take on Mikkel while the others try to get everyone to safety. Finally, Rose is going to end up um, being responsible for killing Mikkel. It was probably more than an accident than anything else but she does get the job done. This is going to be very emotional for everyone at the school. I thought Mikkel was a pretty good character, and I sort of liked him, actually. And so um, 
I was looking forward to see what he brought to the series. I guess this isn't going to happen now. He's dead. This was also huge for Sonya, who was in love with him. Uh, she became very emotional uh, at the end of the show, and she's going to heal Victor against his will, at least temporarily. Uh, she later, she's going to try to kill herself, and this is when we are going to be basically exposed to Lissa's new power. After being healed by Sonya, Victor approaches the council and submits himself to run for Monarch. This is actually a result of him meeting with the queen earlier, and she basically tells him to grow a set, and if he doesn't like what the uh, council decided about releasing the Strigoi, that he should run for Monarch. This basically looks to foil one of our antagonists, Tatiana, who came onto the council and has caused some problems for everyone since she arrived. Uh, she's the one who uh, brought the idea of using the Strigoi to test the Dampiers, and she's also the one that threw the wrench into uh, the Queen's plans for secession by pointing out that under their law, Lyssa wasn't eligible to be Queen. Finally, Lyssa is going to make a huge decision. She decides to take a husband of royal blood, and that is not going to be Christian. Um, and this is all to regain her status at court. She actually decides on Jesse Zeklos. Of all the people that she could choose, she has to choose probably the person or at least one of the people I hate the most on the show, especially comparing him to Christian. I'm not really sure um, what kind of character he's supposed to be. He's definitely not a good guy, and I seem to remember him having some something to do with the fall of that other academy. She did manage to uh, take time to hook up with Christian, though, and she does reveal this new power. Um, I'm not really sure she realizes that it is a new power. As I said, it could be sort of a combination of what she's already able to do. Now, to bring this episode to an end, I need to give it a grade. Just to summarize, I have to say uh, it's a huge positive when a show fixes pieces that you don't really like. And Vampire Academy did that in this episode. I still don't really care for most of the characters, but I do feel a little more invested in the storyline. I really like seeing the Maroi show their powers, and I'm looking forward to those powers growing. Uh, the team up was mostly entertaining. I love shows where people team up with each other. I also still really like the Lissa and Christian pairing. I hate the idea that she's going to get married to anybody but Christian at this point. Um, but I do see chemistry between those two, and I'm interested to see where it goes. There was some good action. Uh, to me, the Strigoi are still a little overpowered, but this episode was definitely an improvement. With that being said, where the first four episodes garnered a D for me, uh, I'm going to give this episode a B-. minus. Now it's time to get out of here. So please, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment below, and we'll see you next time on the Fandom Realm.